G'day guys, Tom Slater from Daiwa Australia and welcome to the 2023 Daiwa Product Showcase. So really excited this year that Yokohama Fishing Show is back on. So we've got a whole bunch of new awesome uh, gear launching over in Tokyo right now. And we've got a whole bunch of awesome Daiwa Australia product to launch alongside with it. So throughout the showcase tonight, like usual, we're going to do some giveaways. We've got three awesome giveaways uh, through tonight's show. So make sure you watch the whole show to make uh, to go into the draw to win those. We're giving away some really cool, exciting uh, new product, including some reels, some rods, and some accessories. So watch the show to enter those giveaways. First things first, we're going to get started with some reels, and we've probably got the most exciting reel we've launched since I've been here at Daiwa Australia, and that's the brand new 23 Saltiga. So we're going to roll a clip now of the guys catching a few giant trevally up north, and then we'll come right back with all the tech on the brand new 23 Saltiga. Okay, so you've just seen the brand new 23 Saltiga in action, and I'm so excited to introduce this reel to the Australian market. It's something that we've been asking for for a long time, that mid-size spin reel for saltwater fishing between the four and 6,000 size is a super important and uh, really needed reel for the Australian market. So to now have a Saltiga in those sizes is uh, gonna be absolutely awesome. So this 23 Saltiga is an addition to the 20 Saltiga family four, five, and 6,000 sizes, and features a lot of the same technology that made 20 Saltiga so good, but we've upgraded it even more with the brand new air drive design. I'll start with the body. Of course, it's using Daiwa's MQ technology, so a single piece aluminium monocoque body that makes the body extremely rigid, extremely durable, makes it really well sealed from the elements because we're eliminating that side plate. So both engine plates screw directly onto the reel keep the reel body really well uh, sealed from the elements and absolutely eliminates all flex from the system. The other thing that MQ body does, of course, is gives us the ability to fit a really big drive gear inside it. So the size of that engine plate on the body is the size of the drive gear inside. And of course, that drive gear is our G1 Duralumin material. So really high quality drive gear gives you insanely smooth rotation, really powerful rotation and is an absolutely uh, awesome material to make drive gears out of and what everyone's come to love about 20 Saltiga. One of the great upgrades that we've made for 23 Saltiga, which has come from our 22 Exist reel, is air drive design. Now, we've tweaked and modified air drive design to suit the saltwater spinning reel. Exist, of course, is our lightweight finesse offering, more suited to the estuaries or freshwater. 
Saltiga needs to be strong and durable and stand up to what us Aussies are going to put it through. So air drive design now is in a metal aluminium rotor, but still that really uh, symmetrical bowl inspired shape, really smooth and free flowing lines to eliminate line tangle. But the goal of air drive, same with the exist, was to eliminate as much weight out of the top unit of the reel. So anything where we say top unit is the rotor or up to eliminate or reduce that startup inertia. So one thing you'll notice when you first pick up a 23 Saltiga is how easy they are to wind, even in an extra H, uh, extra high gear ratio, like I've got in my hand now. Incredibly easy to begin winding, and that's what air drive design is all about. Of course, air drive bale uh, is featuring on 23 Saltiga as well. So again, it's our tubular um, design that you'd be familiar with but in a new style, air drive bales are thinner, they're uh, lighter than before. So again, we're reducing that uh, weight that's spinning around the spool, going towards reducing that uh, startup inertia. Uh, of course, it features um, the uh, long cast ABS spool and ATD drags that you'd be familiar with from 20 Saltiga. The drag uh, of those reels is phenomenal. And in the 23 Saltiga, we've also increase the sound of the drag, which was really welcome addition to 20 Saltiga. That drag sound a lot of anglers really love. So we've worked hard to emulate that uh, bigger reel sound as best we can in the new four and five and 6,000 23 Saltiga. All of the reels come in a high or an extra high ratio. So that's gonna make them perfect for whether you're deep jigging, um, slow pitch jigs, casting stick baits over the flats, whatever there is, even barra fishing with the high uh, gear ratios, you'll be able to do all sorts of fishing with the brand new 23 Saltiga. I want to take a little bit of a closer look at the air drive rotor, and here's one off the reel here. So incredibly lightweight, as I said, aluminium rotor, but you can see that really free flowing, smooth shape and completely screwless design, same as exists. So there's no visible screws on the outside of the, of the rotor make the line trouble uh, almost totally eliminated. Of course, we've in, uh, equipped this with Twist Buster 3, a new Twist Buster line roller to eliminate line twist even more. Really important when you're winding in slack line as you're sweeping a stick bait or something like that. So 23 Saltiga, as I said, probably one of the most exciting reels uh, we've launched here at Daiwa in the last few years. And I know it's gonna be an absolute hit in Australia. Uh, it's an absolutely exceptional looking reel, obviously taking off what was so popular with 20 Saltiga, that blue and gold cosmetic. Uh, the aluminium ball knobs, a nice inclusion. Uh, and as I said, I just can't say enough about 23 Saltiga. It's an amazing reel and uh, it's already accounted for a lot of fish in our testing here in Australia and in New Zealand. And I think it's going to be an absolute winner. So brand new 23 Saltiga, make sure you check it out. And sticking with the kind of mid-weight saltwater spinning reels, we've got a new introduction to the Maverick lineup, which is also in the five and 6,000 size. And that's gonna be uh, just a little bit more affordable price point for those anglers that want a uh, durable saltwater spinning reel in that mid-weight um, kind of PE3 to PE5 kind of rating. So Maverick MQ, of course, has our MQ body as well in aluminium construction. Doesn't feature the air drive design, but features the air rotor uh, with the air bale, of course. But importantly, what makes Maverick stand out from the rest uh, is the inclusion of the G1 drive gear from Saltiga and Certate inside the Maverick body. So you're getting a really high quality gear uh, inside a aluminium monocoque body reel uh, at a much more affordable price point. So Maverick MQ, of course, it's been available in the eight to 20,000 sizes for a little while now, and we're really excited to have the five and 6,000 size become available in Australia very soon. So if you're uh, in the market for something uh, in that sort of weight, you need to uh, strongly consider the Maverick. It's an awesome little reel, and that G1 drive gear is really what sets that apart. The next uh, reel we're gonna talk about is going back into the more estuary light um, category and that's the brand new Aerity spin reel. And we've got a clip for that we'll roll right now and then we'll be right back with all the features on the brand new 23 Aerity.
So you've just seen the new 23 Arity. And if you're familiar with Arities from the past, you'd, be, you'd know that the name Arity is synonymous with making something incredibly lightweight, more finesse oriented, uh, and something that's gonna really deliver the best performance. And this 23 Arity is no different. It's actually the lightest spinning reel Daiwa has ever created. So that comes from a few things, namely the magnesium monocoque body. So you'd be familiar with that from uh, the 18 Exist uh, or the 21 Luvius Arity. Uh, but we've made some changes to the top half of the reel and that's the inclusion of air drive design again. So again, you see that air drive design concept um, evolving from 22 Exist with 23 Saltiga and coming down into Arity now for the first time. So again, a Zion um, air drive design rotor. Uh, so that gives us a lowering of the weight from the top half of the reel. Of course, it's got air drive spool, air drive bale, air drive shaft, all four components of air drive design, which is what makes 23 Arity so incredibly lightweight. One of the really cool things with 23 Arity is the inclusion of an LT 5000 C size. So a 5000 compact, which we haven't had in Arities uh, before and we didn't have in 18 exist. But that 5000 C size, which is what I'm holding here, going to be an exceptional, really high end uh, snapper reel, barramundi, uh, anything where that you require a little bit bigger size, a little bit more line capacity, but still want that really lightweight, whether you're uh, working a plastic all day or, or twitching a jerkbait or whatever it might be, where you want something really lightweight and comfortable to use all day, that new 5000 size is going to be really, really nice. So, of course, when we talk about uh, the monocoque body, the same features that I just spoke about in 23 Saltiga. So we, we get a really well sealed body unit. We get that really big drive gear. Uh, this drive gear is a machined forged aluminium um, drive gear. So really high quality drive gear, insanely smooth reel. Um, and with that air drive design, even in an XH ratio, which is what I've got here, just incredibly easy to begin winding. So. Um, the new 23 Arity, if you're a finesse fisherman like me and you like your brim, your bass, flathead, estuary fishing, or maybe you're ironing off that new 5000 size, um, check out the new 23 Arity. They're going to be an absolute hit when they get to stores. Cosmetically, I think they look absolutely beautiful uh, and I think they'll be a real hit. So 23 Arity, the inclusion of air drive design for the first time, Daiwa's lightest spinning reel ever. Next one, dropping down into something a lot more affordable for the masses, is the brand new Aired spinning reel. We've got a little studio clip here to get a closer look at the gorgeous colours of the new 23 Aired. Okay, so there's no doubt when you see that distinctive orange and black colorway that you're looking at a brand new aired spinning reel. So 23 aired LT, first time we've introduced air drive design into a more economy or uh, price friendly uh, spinning reel. So that air drive rotor, again, we've spoken about it a lot tonight, really lowers the startup inertia of a spinning reel. So it makes it really easy to start winding a, uh, the spinning reel because we've reduced the weight that's uh, spinning around the spool. Um, of course, screwless designs are really line friendly, really great for beginner anglers, uh, which is what Aired is so well suited for. Um, again, being an Aired, it comes in a really wide range of sizes, so little 2000 reels suitable for brim and trout spinning, all the way up to the 6000 size suitable for light inshore. A um, couple of other features that uh, have made Aired so popular over the last couple of years, the big EVA ball knob uh, feature on all the sizes, of course, that really durable ATD drag system. Uh, the long cast ABS spool, that pairs up really nicely with um, all the other uh, technologies to really make a really user-friendly uh, spinning reel that's great for an entry-level angler 
or a really experienced angler that just wants to add to their arsenal. So uh, make sure to check out the 23 Aired when that hits stores a bit later in the year. Really excited that that air drive design technology debuting in reels like Exist has filtered down all the way to something that's just over $100. So uh, make sure you check that out when that hits stores. So that's it for the spinning reels for tonight's segment and we're going to get started in the giveaways. So like I spoke about at the top of the show, uh, the brand new 23 Saltiga, we're actually giving away a 6000XH of these reels. All you have to do to comment uh, to win that is comment below uh, what you would catch with the brand new 23 Saltiga and you could be in the running to win one of these uh, 6000XH models valued at over, over $1,000. So just comment below with that, you can go into the draw for that giveaway. And that's it for spinning reels and the giveaway. We're going to get started with some brand new electric reels. And we've got a brand new uh, brand to introduce to you, and that's Sea Power. And so you're going to roll a clip now where you can take a closer look at the upcoming Sea Power 8 and 1200 electric reels. So you just saw a close-up of what's a really exciting reel for us here at Dyer Australia because we're introducing a brand new family to our electric reels called Sea Power. So Sea Power comes straight out of the Japanese market and is uh, considered to be a nice upgrade from uh, our Tanacom range of reels. So obviously inspired by Tanacom, well, our most popular electric reel we sell by a mile. Uh, inspired by that new Tanacom redesign we came out with last year, that round profile with the motor inside the spool. Sea Power gets one notable upgrade, and that's with the in, uh, inclusion of a mega torque motor inside the spool. So, mega torque motor is straight out of our Seaborg range of reels from uh, the Japan market, and is a really nice upgrade because it produces extra torque compared to the motor that's featured in a Tanacom. So, when you're pushing electric reels to their limit, uh, like a lot of us do here in Australia, it's really nice to have that little bit extra torque, a little bit more winding power in the Sea, uh, sea Power. And that happens through the use of some uh, neodymium magnets inside the mega torque motor. So uh, those stronger magnets produce uh, more current, which gives us that extra torque inside the, inside the reel. So um, that extra torque is evident by the increased drag ratings on Sea Power. So five kilos more drag uh, than what's on the Tanacom reels. And when I say reels, there is now also two sizes available. So I'm holding the 1200 which of course is uh, one of the most popular sizes, the biggest one in the family. But there is now also 800 sizes available in both Sea Power and Tanacom, uh, which is really exciting. Those smaller size electrics are becoming increasingly popular. The further north you go in the country, shallower water, uh, you don't need something that holds a thousand meters of PE8. Um, you need you know, a little bit smaller, you can get away with a smaller electric reel, still with that same nice power and torque. Uh, but a little bit more easy to use. So those smaller 800 size in both the Sea Power and the Tanacom, you can see over my left shoulder, are going to be a really uh, nice introduction. So that's not the first, uh, uh, the only new electric, sorry, that we'll speak about tonight. There's also a couple more. So new Sea Power going to be available very soon. And the other new electrics, again, a new family of electrics for Dara Australia, something that uh, has been available in the Japanese market for a while is Leo Brits. So Leo Brits is our entry level electric family. So we've got two Leo Brits reels to debut for Australian market tonight. This one is the S500 JP. So a small 500 size electric reel, again, really suited uh, to that Northern Australian market, but something that's becoming increasingly popular countrywide. Gives people the opportunity to fish that perhaps couldn't fish before, that are unable to use a conventional fishing reel can use the power assist um, function to get out on the water and enjoy time uh, with their loved ones enjoying the outdoors. So Leobritz 500, small um, electric reel, again, 
quite lightweight for what it is. Uh, again, suited to pairing up with some of those new Dendo rods we launched at the end of last year to enable handheld electric fishing. So this is not something you'd put on a big bent butt rod and sit it in the gunnel. This is something that you would put on a traditional straight butt jig rod or a, a specific uh, Tanacom or Sea Power rod and hold it in your hand and actually enjoy the fight that a fish provides with the power assist function of a small electric like this. So Leo Brits, of course, um, as with all Daiwa uh, reels, has the ability to set all those functions, including uh, jigging functions, all through the LCD on the top of the screen with the three buttons. So Leo Brits 500, that's the first of them. And then the baby of the lot is the new Leo Brits 300. So again, that small size electric market has become really popular in Australia. Um, especially popular, as I said, up north where they're chasing bottom fish and they need to get those fish off the bottom and into the boat really quickly. Prized table fish like Red Emperor and stuff like that that are getting sharked commonly. Uh, you can use the electric reel in assistance with pumping and winding to get those fish up off the bottom quickly away from the sharks and into your esky. So Leobritz 300J again has that J in the name indicating it has programmable jigging function. So you can also program both the Leobritz models to do a pre-programmed jigging function. So it'll wind, pause, wind, pause, wind, emulating high-speed jigging action and enabling people that perhaps aren't fit enough or aren't able enough to, to high-speed mechanical jig to go out and chase fish like amberjack, kingfish, Samson fish. So really cool to have that function in such a small little affordable electric reel. So really excited to have both the Leo Brits uh, models available in Australia very soon. That's it for the electric reels and we're going to get stuck into a bait cast reel now and that's the brand new Steez A2 TW. We've got a little close-up clip you can have a look at right now on uh, what's going to be a really popular reel for bass and barra fishers all around the country. That was very cool. Oh my. Oh. That's a fish. Oh my. Good looking fish. Ten out of ten. So you just saw our resident ABT Grand Final Champion, Braden Shu, using the new Steez A2 TW. And this is something that I'm personally really excited for. I love the Steez A range of reels. I've been using them for many years. So to have a new model featuring Hyperdrive design for the first time is something really exciting. So Hyperdrive, again, debuted in 21 zillion, uh, and that's a full redesign of how we produce baitcast reels. Importantly, well, most importantly is that hyperdrive digi gear. So that's a new tooth uh, design of the drive gear itself to change uh, how the drive gear interacts with the pinion, produces a really incredibly smooth reel, but importantly, it's very smooth under heavy loads. So while you're winding, cranking against heavy drag, the new hyperdrive generation of Steez A is gonna be much smoother than before. So as the name Steez A indicates, it's an aluminium body, 
So really suitable to that heavier saltwater style fishing that we do here in Australia. Uh, and it has the new MAG-Z Boost cast control. So MAG-Z Boost uh, is a two-stage uh, braking system. So that boost system, what it does is it extends the flight distance in the second half of the cast. So as your lure starts slowing down midair, the uh, inductor on the spool will actually retract slightly, producing a slightly lower braking force for that second half of the cast. So what we've noticed from reels equipped with boost uh, feature like Zillion and the new Steez A is you get about uh, a 10% increase in your casting distance. So MAG-Z Boost is really suited to heavier weight lures around the eight grams uh, and up. Uh, and that's gonna be perfect for bass guys, barra guys, Murray Cod, uh, really makes the Steez A2 a really awesome um, option for a lot of what we do here in Australia. Of course, being a Steez A, it has the, the long 90 mil handle straight out of the box. So again, that makes it more suitable for us where we're using it for a little bit heavier uh, fishing scenarios. Uh, awesome new colorway, that really kind of dark satin blue, uh, really attractive colorway. Available, of course, in three gear ratios. So a standard, a high and an extra high ratio in both right and left hand. So lefties rejoice. You've got new Steez A2 TWs available uh, in Australia. So new Steez A2, really excited for that. That concludes the real section of tonight's product showcase. Remember, we've got the, uh, the giveaway for the 23 Saltiga. Just comment below what fish you would catch uh, on that to go into the draw. We're going to draw all those giveaways on February 1st. So make sure you're tuned into Daiwa Socials on Feb 1st to see if you've won the, uh, the giveaways. Now it's time for the new rods. So we've got a clip here for a brand new Sea Jigger rod for those surf guys. So we'll roll that and we'll come straight back to you with all the new rods for 2023. So you've just seen a clip of the new 23 Sea Jigger, and this is, I think, going to excite a lot of people because Sea Jigger is something that's been around a really long time in the Australian market and has garnered a lot of uh, uh, admiration and respect from the land-based fishing community. So 23 Sea Jigger is the first time that we've used our X45 full shield technology in the series. So uh, over the last couple of years, you've seen us here at Dyer Australia really pushing that X45 X full shield into as many rods as possible. We started with it in uh, Spartan and Commander, and it's gone through a lot of the range now. Uh, in Surf Series, it's currently only available in Saltiga Surf, our flagship, so really excited to pull that technology down into a more affordable price point like the brand new Sea Jigger Series. So Sea Jigger, of course, features that very minimalist design, uh, really trying to make it really super lightweight, so it's easy to use for long sessions casting off the rocks. Really slim shrink wrap butt gives the butt a little bit of protection without making it too bulky 
so it doesn't get scratched up uh, when you're jamming it into rocks or rod holders, stuff like that. Um, nice grip on the end there to enable a, a confident casting motion. One of the really, uh, I guess, eye-catching uh, features of 23CG is the brand new Daiwa uh, exclusive reel seat. So this is not uh, something um, that's available anywhere else. It's something that we made specifically here at Daiwa for this rod series. Um, so really comfortable, really ergonomic, uh, holds your reel obviously really well, but just gives uh, the 23C jig a nice uh, evolution, nice step up from the previous model. Good EVA foregrip there for when you're hooked up onto a big mulloway or something, you can uh, grip that foregrip and, and fight the fish. Uh, and of course, Sea Jigger has the low rider uh, Fuji guide train. So it's a hybrid guide train. First few guides are low rider um, guides, and then we go to anti tangle guides onto the tip to save some weight. So those low rider um, guides with the small ring uh, narrow down that loop of, off the spool uh, really quickly. Uh, very well suited to braided line, so it gets the loops out of your uh, braid straight away, enables a really long distance cast. Uh, that X45 full shield is through the entire blank, so you're talking about 10 feet of X45 X full shield uh, carbon, so really high quality blanks. You can see that in the uh, above the stripper guide where it goes to this clear finish. You can see that wavy texture that's associated with that technology. So 23C Jigger, four models, uh, same model lineup as the previous versions of C Jigger, but a really big technology step up from the previous model. So if you're into your land-based casting, I think you're going to absolutely love the 23C Jigger. I think it's one of the best looking uh, surf rods we've ever developed here at Daiwa Australia. I'm really excited for all you land-based fishers to get a hold of the new 23C Jigger because I think you're going to absolutely love it. Another new surf rod, again featuring that X45 technology, a brand new sensor surf. And we're going to roll a little clip now of Saxon throwing a few live baits. We'll get stuck into 23 sensor surf right after that. So just like the 23C Jigger we just talked about, 23 Sensor Surf also features X45X full shield throughout the entire length of the blank. So that really elevates the Sensor Surf to a new level again. Incredibly lightweight for what uh, is up to a 15 foot surf rod in Sensor Surf. Uh, again, quite a drastic uh, change from the previous model. We've gone to this really um, deep emerald green color uh, really reminiscent of the old Emblem Pros and that kind of thing from back in the day. Uh, again, a new Daiwa exclusive reel seat, so nice upgrade from the previous model. Again, super comfortable, really slim line. I tried to keep it, again, a bit minimalist, keep that weight down. Uh, like the old model, we're using the wind grip tape on the uh, lower section, so really nice and comfortable uh, with that really, uh, I guess, confidence-inspiring uh, rear grip there to put out a really long cast. Uh, sensor surf is what we would classify as a more traditional surf rod here at Daiwa. So longer lengths from 12 up to 15 foot, uh, more parabolic tapers, slower tapers than say a Sea Jigger or a Saltiga surf. Uh, and this is going to be perfect for those guys that do a little bit of mix of lure fishing, bait fishing, like you saw in the video. Um, sensor surf is really well suited to that. So. Um, what we do in the guide train of sensor surf is we use a combination again of uh, anti-tangle guides on the tip 
uh, with MN uh, or ocean frame guides on the lower end. And what we do with the stripper guides is we reverse them. A lot of people ask why we do that. Uh, when you have a large loop of braided line coming off a spinning reel, uh, an MN frame guide with those two legs um, at what would normally be the front of the guide, the line can actually hit those legs before it enters the ring. So by reversing the stripper guide or the first couple of stripper guides, you really minimize that loop quickly because there's no frame for that loop to hit before it enters the guide, uh, where it's obviously a very smooth ring to minimize that loop down. Uh, it gives you a longer cast, less tangles, and that's the, the favored for distance casting. So uh, MN guides reversed on the front all the way through to uh, anti-tangle tip guides, and they're a stainless steel alkanite frame Fuji. So sensor surf uh, again gets a full overhaul. That X45X full shield really gives the rod good resistance to twisting. And when you're using a spinning rod, especially of this length, like 12 to 15 foot, um, your rod wants to, uh, when you load it and you're casting, those guides are gonna to wanna to twist over to the backside. So um, by using that X45X full shield, the rod resists that twisting force, actually puts a lot more of that effort into the cast. So you're gonna get a much longer cast than what would, you would get from the older generation sensor surf. So look out for that distinct green cosmetic, got nice little shrink wrap uh, foregrip here for when you're hooked up onto a big fish. Uh, great little rods if you want to uh, chase a mulloway off the beach, tailor, salmon, you name it. If you're beach fishing, you have to check out the new sensor surfs uh, and they're going to be an absolute winner when they come out. Now moving on on the rods, we've got a little bit of a different rod for Dyla uh, and that's the introduction of the Sabiki model in the BG Blue Water family. So uh, a little bit different than what we've normally done, but a sabiki rod, really nice addition to the range, obviously made to fish uh, a sabiki jig to collect bait. Uh, the BG Blue Water Sabiki is telescopic, so you extend it out there to its full seven foot six length, and then you can obviously retract it, makes it really nice and easy to store when you're not using the jig. You can actually telescope that down with the sabiki jig rigged up, um, so that makes it really nice and user friendly. Of course, that means it features our interline technology, something that Dial pioneered. Um, and we worked really hard on that telescoping joint to make it completely slim and smooth inside the actual rod blank. So there's no way your sabiki uh, can get caught in that. Um, we worked really long for a long time to get that joint uh, made with perfection. So that te uh, telescoping sabiki uh, rod is something that's not really been seen before, so that's gonna be a really nice upgrade um, for those guys that are looking for a new Sabiki jig rod. A Little bit longer length, seven foot six, so it fits uh, the longest Sabiki jigs uh, that are commonly used in Australia really well. And also has a removable butt cap, so you can unscrew that at the base. If you ever need to wash it out or do anything like that, you can unscrew that, put a hose up and clean out the inside of your Sabiki rod. So. Suitable for both a spin or an overhead reel, you can use both. Um, I like to use it with a little bait cast reel, makes it really easy to click in and, in and out of gear as you're uh, jigging that sabiki so you can adjust your depth nice and quickly with a bait cast reel when you're using a sabiki jig rod. So BG Blue Water Sabiki, look for that uh, in stores very soon. If you're into your bait, live bait fishing, you need to uh, consider adding a sabiki rod to your lineup. The last rod we'll speak about tonight is something we actually introduced in the last product showcase, but was a little bit delayed in actually hitting stores, and that's the Infeet SK range. Now these will be in stores next week. Really excited to finally get these on the shelf. Uh, Infeet's obviously become synonymous with Daiwa, uh, light tackle enthusiasts uh, for a range of products from lures, reels, and rods, really dedicated to that light estuary uh, style fishing. So Infeet SK, of course has Fuji's SK skeleton reel seat. Uh, and the cool thing with SK is we're using a titanium Fuji stripper guide and then our Daiwa AGS carbon fiber guides all the way up to the tip. So uh, there's four models of SK and that brings us to the second of tonight's giveaways. You can actually win two of the brand new uh, Infeet SKs. One fast taper, which is the red color and one regular or slow taper rod, which is the blue color. So you can win uh, two Infeet SKs just by commenting down below 
what die were real, you would pair up with the new Infeet SK. For me, that's an easy choice. It'll obviously be the Infeet X, but we'll let you choose your uh, preferred reel by posting it down in the comments. And again, those giveaways are gonna be drawn on February 1st. So that's it for the rod section for tonight. We're gonna get stuck into some terminal tackle next and get stuck into the brand new Bait Junkie jig heads, which are gonna be in stores as you're watching this. So stay tuned. So the moment we've all been waiting for, Daiwa Bait Junkie Jig Heads are now available in stores. So these are the packs that you're looking for when you hit the shops. Uh, just a little bit of an explanation on how to choose the right hook for you. So when you look on the pack, you'll see that blue color that indicates the light wire hook. Uh, so zero X stands for zero extra strong. Uh, so that's your light wire hook. If you're a finesse guy like myself, you like brim, trout, bass, look for that blue packet. If you're into your heavier stuff, black packets for you. Two extra strong wire, these are your heavy duty hooks. Uh, as I said, if you're into your snapper, your barra, uh, even brim rack fishing, stuff like that, you wanna look for the heavy wire hooks. Um, one thing that we didn't touch on as well last time was the sticker. Now that is actually a removable sticker, so a lot of people like to empty their jig heads into a tackle box and know what they have by printing out a label maker or writing on your tackle box. Don't have to do that anymore. So what you can do if you, if you do want to use the, the removable sticker, we recommend when you get your pack and you want to open it, you actually cut uh, the top of the sticker open, it'll wrap over. So cut that open with your pair of braid scissors and then you can actually peel off the front part of the sticker, grab your Daiwa D-Box and simply stick it on so you know that, okay, in there I've got my one and a half ounce seven O's all ready to go. When you get low, you can head to the store you know exactly what size was in there so you know what to restock with. So bait junky jig heads, as we've spoken about, been a really long development here at Dara Australia, something we're incredibly proud of. That keeper design, obviously we've worked really long and hard to get that to really grab the plastic. I Means skip casting is absolutely not a drama. There's no more super glue required. You're not gonna get pantsed. BKK, Saxas uh, hook, so you're getting a really high quality hook uh, and that uh, head design, that stand-up posture, really gives that best uh, action to your plastic when it's sitting on the bottom. So uh, if you're a keen soft plastic angler, you need to try the new Bait Junkie jig heads. Remember to look out for, in, for those in stores and keep an eye out on our social media channels because we're about to launch a huge Bait Junkie giveaway. Can't release too much info just yet, but it's definitely something you want to keep an eye out for. Uh, really, really cool prize up for grabs. So. That's not all for the lures for this uh, for tonight's launch. I'm going to get stuck into some hard bodies, something that's going to be incredibly popular down south, the brand new Double Clutch 75 Shallow Runner. Alright, 
So something that I think is going to be really popular uh, and has been hotly requested by a lot of uh, the guys I speak to down south is a shallow running double clutch 75. So uh, Sazanami, Infeet Sazanami, the 60 mil shallow diving jerkbait has been incredibly popular since we brought it out. And we think this is just going to uh, continue that, um, I guess, fatuation with shallow water jerkbait fishing. So double clutch needs no introduction, one of the hottest jerkbaits uh, going around in Australia. But uh, having that shallow running model in the 75 just opens up new areas to fish the double clutch. So that much shorter bib is going to make it dive only to a maximum depth of about three feet. You can twitch it right just under the surface, six inches down. Of course, it features silent gravity oscillation system. So that's the fixed wire with that tungsten weight that slides and moves freely, not just during the cast. So it helps you get a really long, accurate cast, but also as you're retrieving that lure, that uh, tungsten weight sliding on the bar, shifting the center of gravity in the lure, and that uh, changes the way that the, the lure swims through the water. So if the weight happened to be in a forward position, as you twitch it, it's gonna give you one action the weight might shift to the back and then you twitch it again and it gives you another different action. So that gravity oscillation system is one of the keys of what makes double clutch so incredibly popular. So 75 SR comes in a great range of colors featuring that Adele foil that's become synonymous with Daiwa lures, that really realistic uh, bait fish belly skin imitation has that really nice pearlescent finish. So double clutch 75 SR, a great addition to the double clutch family. We're covering almost every basis now from the little micro 48 all the way through to the big 115 for barra guys. So if you're into your shallow water fishing, whether it's trout, black brim, you name it, the double clutch 75 SR is going to be a great addition to your tackle box. Speaking of additions to the range, we've got a new Spike 53 EXDR. That's the deep diving brother. We've got a little studio clip that we're going to roll right now. We'll come back with all the details on the brand new Spike EXDR. Okay, so everyone's familiar with the Infeet Spike 53 and the Spike 44, and now we're replicating what we did with Spike 44 into its bigger brother. So 53 traditionally only been available in, in the regular depth, so MR uh, depth diving to about six feet. When we launched Spike 44, we launched it in two depths, an MR and an EXDR. And that EXDR depth, uh, really great for when you're deep cranking rock walls. I love fishing that EXDR in, in the wash at the Hawkesbury. Uh, and so we thought, why not add the EXDR to that bigger Spike 53? So this is a lure I use a, a lot in the Hawkesbury here. As I said, fishing the washes or going upstream, chasing estuary perch and bass. That EXDR bib is gonna dive this lure down to a max depth of 12 feet. So that gives you just the opportunity to fish a hard body uh, where you would traditionally have to use a sinking lure, like a soft plastic or a blade. Uh, you can now pick up that Spike 53 EXDR. Of course, it's physically bigger than the 44. It weighs a lot more. It's got the shifting ball weight. So if you're fishing in really heavy wind, uh, consider upping the, the lure to a Spike 53 to get that extra casting distance. So that's going to be a real winner. I'm excited to use that uh, in the coming tournaments. I think it's going to be a great uh, black brim lure, trout, um, estuary perch, as I said, bass, yellowfin, you name it. If it's in the estuaries, it's going to eat a Spike 53X EXDR. Done some great colours in that one. Uh, some of your favourites like brown CG like I'm holding here and some new colours as well. So if you're into your estuary, fishering, uh, estuary fishing, you want a deeper diving crankbait, consider the Infeet Spike EXDR. Shifting gears a little bit. If you were paying close attention when we did the rod segment, you would have seen this. Uh, in the 23C jig clip, and that's the brand new OT jig. So OT stands for over there. So this is a shore casting metal slug made for casting long distances off the beach or the rock walls, chasing fish like tailor, salmon, uh, those kind of beach or, or saltwater fish. 
uh, even tuner and mackerel and things like that. So OT jig available in four weights, 20, 30, 40, and 60 grams uh, in five colors. So this one here, obviously the pilchard or sardine imitation. Great thing with OT jig is not only do you get a really high quality finish, um, but you get a really high quality treble hook on the back. So that's a BKK fang treble hook. So ready out of, uh, out of the pack to tie on and catch some really big fish. So if you're into distance casting off the beach, chasing tailor or salmon, consider finding one of the OT jigs when they become available. Uh, in one of the weights, there's some great colors, um, some of your traditional silvers and golds, or some of your more flashy colors like this one. Uh, so consider grabbing one of the OT jigs if you're into chasing those kind of fish. Finally, we've got one more saltwater lure up our sleeves, and that's a brand new Saltiga stick bait. We're going to roll a clip right now and then come back with some of the best coloured stick baits I've ever seen. So here it is, the brand new Saltiga Rough Ride stick bait. So first thing you'll notice, obviously, as I said, those gorgeous color patterns. So we put a lot of time into designing seven awesome uh, colors for the Australian market. These are not something you'll find anywhere else, and I think we've absolutely nailed it. This is one of my favorites, um, but we've got a range of seven, whether it's a flying fish or a fusilier, we've got something to represent uh, the bait fish or something that's a confidence inspiring color like this red is for me. So Saltiga Rough Ride, obviously the first thing uh, interesting or unique about this lure is that dimpled golf ball like finish. So that really stabilizes the lure both through the air and through the water. So it not only gives you a more stable cast where the lure doesn't want to tumble through the air, really sends it straight, gives you a really nice long cast. It also aids, since this is a floating stick bait, fishing in rough water to get that lure stable through the water. So with a floating stick bait, you obviously do want it to work just subsurface. So you get that head dipped under the water and then have that nice S wave motion. Those golf ball kind of dimples stabilize the lure in that rough water, make it a really easy stick bait to work. So it's not something that you really have to think about your timing of your sweeps. You can really just do a nice easy sweep and you'll get that really nice uh, stick bait action. Saltiga so Rough Ride is available in two sizes. This is the 160mm version I'm holding in my hand here. There is also a 140mm version that's available. And when it comes to terminals, we've really gone all out. So BKK Raptor Z treble hooks on the belly and a BKK inline single off the tail. So this is by far the most preferred, uh, widely preferred rigging method for stick bait uh, fishing for pelagic fish in Australia. Uh, that treble hook on the belly stabilizes the lure a bit, gives it a little bit more extra weight central to the lure body, enables that nice pivot um, around that central position for that inline single on the tail. If you do uh, get a hook up on that, it's a really sure set uh, that's not going to pull out mid-fight. So we really feel that's the best hook uh, setup for Australian stick bait fishing. And we really think that Saltiga Rough Ride is going to be a hot, uh, hot lure uh, for the guys that like that. So Awesome lure to pair up with the new 23 Saltiga in that smaller size, cast it over the reef flats and hold on. So Saltiga Rough Ride will be in stores soon. Uh, you got to check out the colors on these. They're just absolutely awesome. So speaking of some Saltiga Terminal, 
That's it for lures. We're going to change tack now and get into the brand new Soltiga Durasensor X8 braid. So those that are familiar with Daiwa braids uh, know we've had Soltiga 12 braid for quite a few years now. Uh, so now to have Soltiga 8 come into the, into the lineup just gives a little bit more affordable price point. It's not the 12 strands, uh, but the 8 strand gives a really nice smooth uh, supple finish, especially when we're using our new Muscle PE uh, technology. So Muscle PE is a combination of three really key Daiwa line technologies. Tough PE, which is talking about the actual individual fibres or the yarn that makes up uh, the braid, and then our UVF or ultra volume fibre. So uh, that technology really, we're talking about a very tightly packed um, braid. So it's, there's no loose spots, there's no hollow spots. It's really tightly packed. Gives you a really nice circular profile. And then of course, our SI2 plus silicon coating. So that silicon coating improves abrasion resistance, gives you a nice smooth finish and reduces the noise uh, that you're familiar with braided lines when you're pulling through the guides. Saltiga uh, Dura Center X8 is available in two colors. I've got the multi, uh, multi color here. Uh, so that's available in the heavier sizes from PE2 all the way up to PE8. And then there's also a meter or a marked chartreuse. So uh, chartreuse with dark green markers, that's available in PE0.6 up to a PE2 in 200 meter spools. The multi is in 300 meter spools. So. Uh, if you want looking for a new braid this season, consider the new Durasensor X8. Really excited to finally have that available. Something we've been working on for a really long time. Look out for that distinct packaging in stores when you're looking for a new braid to spool up with. Speaking of braided line, and we've spoken about a lot of electric reels tonight, is we're debuting a brand new Tanacom braid as well. You can see behind me there. So Tanacom braid obviously designed for our Dendo or deep drop reels. Uh, only available in two sizes, a PE6 and a PE8, but it's going to perfectly suit either an 8, uh, a 750, an 800, a 1000 or a 1200 size electric reel. So if you're really into your dendo fishing or you're setting up a new system, uh, consider grabbing some Tanacom braid to throw on that reel. It's an 8 strand braid, obviously made in Japan like all our line is, uh, really high quality and pairs perfectly with those electric reels. That's it for our fishing line. We're going to get uh, into a brand new addition to the D-Box range, and we've actually got a little clip that we're going to roll now, and we're going to come back with the brand new SSU D-Box. Okay, so introducing you the brand new D-Box SSU. Now this, when we went to after last year, was probably the most uh, hottest requested addition to the range. D-Box has been extremely popular. And our LSU box, their large, shallow, universal, uh, the jig head storage box was an absolute hit. But immediately we knew we needed to make a smaller one. So SSU is here, holds exactly 100 jig heads in the five silicon slots inside. So push your jig heads inside, not just for jig heads, you can use it for soft vibes, hard bodies, but makes a great jig head storage box. Of course, like all the D boxes, has that waterproof seal around the top and four way closure. So you're getting a nice seal with uh, 360 degree pressure around that rubber gasket. So SSU boxes, uh, if you're a uh, kayak guy or land based guy, you want to chuck a few jig heads in a backpack, great option, that new SSU. Um, so moving on from D-Box, we've got some new rainwear that we're going to talk about. First off is a new RainMax stretch line of uh, wet weather apparel. So I've got the RainMax pants here with me, that awesome indigo blue colorway. So there's a matching jacket to these as well. RainMax stretch is a new material uh, for us. So 27K waterproof, 7K breathable material, really high quality, 
but importantly for Australia, very lightweight and thin. So much thinner, much more lightweight than our previous Rainmax apparel. Uh, so much more suited to the warmer temperatures that we get up north in Australia. Um, the cool thing about the new Rainmax uh, wet withers is the pants are just an elastic uh, cuff uh, waist. So no bib and brace setup in the Rainmax apparel. So much more suited to, I guess, a more casual style of wearing. Uh, I know land-based rock guys really like those elastic pants. So Rain Max Stretch, that's what you're looking for. Uh, as I said, matching jacket and pants available from a small to a 3XL. And then for the really hardcore guys, we've also uh, bringing out a full Gore-Tex line of wet weathers. So I've got with me here the Gore-Tex bib and brace. So the Gore-Tex line does feature a full bib and brace setup. So great if you drive a sit-down boat like myself, you can uh, sit down and you, your jacket, the water that beads off your jacket is not gonna get you wet uh, on your waist as that bib and brace comes up underneath your jacket. So everyone that's familiar with, I guess, adventure wear or outdoor wear knows the Gore-Tex brand, their, their fibers and their apparel, uh, their, their um, material is second to none incredibly lightweight, incredibly breathable and incredibly waterproof. So the Gore-Tex um, jacket and bib and brace in that nice grey colourway. All the rainwear has YKK AquaGuard zippers, so really high quality zips, uh, keeps the water out of there as well. And all of them feature really nice design, so uh, ease of movement, all that kind of stuff. Nice hoods that don't uh, blow off under high speed boat travel. Uh, is featured in these apparel lines. So if you need some new wet weather gear, consider either the new Rain Max or the new Gore-Tex line. Uh, they're gonna be really hot items. Uh, to finish off the night, we've just got a few new hats. Um, so we've got the trucker cap uh, in three different colors. So mesh back, of course, curved brim, uh, just a simple small DVEC on the sides, a nice casual hat, not too overbearing, not too over the top. And then for the crowd that likes the five panels, we brought two five panels out in that really nice lightweight material. So very light, very breathable hat. Uh, again, in that kind of khaki style and the black and gray as well. So new hats, new apparel, new D-Box, plenty of new accessories uh, to finish off tonight's show. Just to recap, obviously we've got the three giveaways. So remember you can win yourself a 23 Saltiga 6000 XH by commenting below what uh, you'd like to catch with that reel. You can win two Infi SK rods just by telling us what dial or reel you'd like to pair with them. And then finally, you can also win a Gore-Tex rainwear suit. So that's right, you can win almost a thousand dollar wet weather suit um, just by telling us what you would do or where you'd go when you have a Daiwa Gore-Tex wet weather gear. So those are the three giveaways. Remember, we're drawing those on February 1st. Thanks very much for tuning in to the 2023 product showcase. All that information's all up on the Dial website already. You can head to www.dialfishing.com.au, click on the banner, check out all the detailed specs, read the, read the uh, detailed information, watch the videos again, get all the information you require, and then head to your local Dial stockist to grab what you're most interested in. So thanks very much. Remember, uh, stay safe on the water, and we'll catch you next time.